I'm Professor Wheeler. Welcome to Understanding Movies. In order to help you get off to a good start, I thought it would be best to address some of the reasons why students struggle in this course. Usually these issues deal with initial mindset and approach, so hopefully dealing with these now will put you on a good footing. Frequently when students see this course in the college catalog, they think since it's a movie course and can be used as an elective, it's easy. That would be misconception number one. College courses aren't designed to be easy. Electives aren't designed to be easy. They have to meet an accreditation standard to be worthy of awarding three college credits that would be acceptable by other colleges in the event of transfer. They have to be designed with a certain rigor to validate your degree. This rigor is even more significant as you move up the college ladder with higher level courses. This is a 300 level course. That means it's ideally been designed for someone in their junior year or above. Expect it to be challenging. When thinking about movies in particular, many people will think about the plot. And so if you ask someone, how was the movie? They will generally talk about story and perhaps what they thought of the acting. Well, while we will be discussing acting, we aren't going to spend much time talking about story per se. In a movie, story is the what. This class is about the how. How did the director, filmmaker, decide to tell the story? If we were to give identical house blueprints to two different contractors, they would build the same house. If we give the same script to two different filmmakers, we would get two entirely different movies. There may be similarities, of course, but they would not be identical. This class is about those choices that make each film and filmmaker unique. Consider for a moment this image. If I asked most people to talk about this painting, they would describe the story and explain what the cows are doing. As an analogy to this class, we would be talking about the choices of colors, brushes, brush strokes, paint, canvas, etc. We would discuss all of the choices the painter made to create this scene and tell its story. Each artist has a style. Each filmmaker has a style. Describe the scene as carefully as you can to another artist and you will get a different painting. Those differences are how the artist chooses to tell the story. Those differences are also how the filmmaker chooses to tell the story. Another reason that students will sometimes struggle with this course is because their writing skill is not equivalent to a 300 or junior level ability. Spelling, grammar, and the construction of ideas will be important. If you receive a paper evaluation similar to this, that will be indicative of a need for some tutorial work with a writing lab. My old high school English teacher used to say, in order to be able to write well, you have to read. He didn't mean that you have to be able to read. That would be assumed. He meant that you have to be a reader in order to write well, because that's how you learn to construct sentences in a manner that clearly communicates what you intended. Sometimes students will indicate in the discussions that they don't read. That is typically evident in their papers. I highly advise you to review the writing notes PDF that I've posted under course resources. There are some examples specific to writing about film. The main reason that students seem to struggle, not just in this class, but in any class, is not allowing for an appropriate amount of course time in their schedules. The demands of the course are noted by the college in the syllabus. I had a student one semester who was falling behind and said the reason for the lapse was because he had six small children at home. I can certainly understand that. However, no college or university designs courses based on those considerations. They have an accreditation standard to uphold. Your responsibilities outside of class are considerations that you have to make when you decide how many courses you can successfully accomplish within any given eight-week semester. So if you tell me you are busy, I believe you. In fact, everyone here is busy, to some extent. That perhaps is why you are even here, because you are busy. I also was an adult learner. I didn't attend college full-time until I was 28 years old, and at that time I was married, had two small children at home. I was going to face-to-face -face classes, full-time, and trying to start and run my own photography, videography business, and work as a professional actor. I know what busy is. I also know what busy can accomplish. So being busy will not be an excuse, it is an expectation. Make good decisions regarding scheduling and the number of classes that you can successfully engage during any eight-week session. 
The final issue is staying up on and even getting ahead of work. Things will happen to all of us, though I hope you have an uneventful semester. But things do happen. People get sick, emergencies arise, computers break down, and these things tend to happen more frequently when work is put off till the last minute. One semester, a student emailed me an hour and a half before an assignment was due to inform me that his brother had spilled beer on his laptop and he had lost his work. I indicated to him, I'm not sure what you're going to be doing about your brother drinking around your laptop, but your brother spilling a beer is not the cause for your work not being turned in. The fact that you waited until the last moment to allow such events to have an impact is on you. Also, the fact that you weren't saving this routinely to a thumb drive and or posting your drafts in the assignment folders undermine your success. Back up your work. I suggest that you routinely post drafts as a safety precaution because then at least you have something in the assignment folder that can be graded. And even if it's not complete, you'll still earn some points for submitting something. Don't wait until the last minute. Every semester I'm telling some student, I'm sorry, but you have to meet the same standard as everyone else in the course and everyone who has ever taken the course. You missed the deadline. That said, some of you have jobs where you know something is going to happen. It's just the nature of your work. You're going to be called away because that's what happens. EMTs, for instance, know their job is the result of someone else's emergency. They're going to be called away without forewarning. Knowing that means that you have to start on things even earlier because the expectation for you is most assuredly something will happen. You can be surprised when it doesn't, but chances are something will, so get to things early, post drafts in your assignment folders, and earn some points. Also, save your material to other places because computer equipment fails. It's not a matter of if, it's only a matter of when. Backups will put you in the best position to succeed. Some of my past students, even the A students, have said this is the most difficult course they've taken. Now, the idea isn't to make it purposely difficult. The reason is that understanding movies is very challenging. It's like learning a new language in eight weeks. If it were easy, every film would be a success. So if filmmakers struggle with the process, imagine the rest of us. These are the common reasons why students struggle in the class. I thought I would address these now so that we don't have to address them later in the midst of a problem. You understand the policies of the class and know how you'll need to approach it. And hopefully the time you'll need during the week to view the course materials and films, stay up to date on news posts, participate in the discussions, and begin learning how films are made to prepare you for your assignments. Don't hesitate to ask questions early. Carefully proof your work and good luck with the course. Oh, one last thing. Some students are concerned that they will never be able to look at films the same way again. That's true but you will still be in control how you watch films. Enjoy. Enjoy.